Today on the channel, we've got a custody dispute and Dominic's life hangs in the balance with SummerSlam Mattel Elite, Rey Mysterio. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Mattel Elite unboxing and review. And today, from the 2022 SummerSlam wave, we've got Rey Mysterio. But for all your wrestling figure needs from Mattel, hit up Wrestling Collector Shop. Use discount code Kyle and discount code Kyle 10 to save. So old 619 himself, old Rey Mysterio with a flashback figure all the way back to 2005. When Dominic's custody was hanging in the balance in that famed ladder match against Eddie Guerrero. Quite the time for wrestling. I don't know if I was all in on that one uh, back then. I don't think I'm really all in on that match right now. But anytime Eddie and Ray got together, it was pretty cool. But the stipulation was a little bit goofy, I think. Just a little bit. But very iconic Rey Mysterio figure. And of course, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And of course, we got to compare it to the throwback Rey Mysterio. So stay tuned for that one as well. Without further ado, let's look at the packaging. Brand new 2022 SummerSlam packaging. Of course, the SummerSlam wave used to be part of the traditional Elite wave. No longer. They get their own day in the sun. They are outside the Elite wave, which is great. And like I said in the other videos, this is a bit of a Legends wave. These are all throwback figures, which I think is pretty cool as well. You got Rey Mysterio looking only like he could look in 2005 in a 2022 SummerSlam Elite wave. There you go, like what I did there. Got Dominic, Rey Mysterio. There it is, and it's a father-son two-pack. You got Dominic's head in there, just a severed head hanging around, like a young Al Snow back in the day in the old Jax days. Oh, where's the complaints these days? Where's the complaints? Nowhere to be seen, I guess. Uh, WWE logo, Elite logo on the top, Elite logo on the side. You get old Ray on the side, nice flashback to Ray. A nice uh, kind of blue suit going on there, very interesting times. I got my blue on just to match Ray today. Uh, SummerSlam, True Effects, Rey Mysterio, Certified Authentic. Don't let anybody tell you any different. You saw the hologram. You saw it. You got the tail of the tape. We got the blur. We got the cross sell. We got Dominic. We got all the fun on the back of the package here. As always, we're going to unbox every single one of these figures on the channel. Then at the end, we are going to put Dominic together. And then we're going to rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. You won't want to miss that. So there's old Ray. Let's see what the old tail of the tape says. Let's see what's up with old Ray Mysterio. Don't call him Junior. From San Diego, California, the old 619. Beautiful this time of year and beautiful all year is what I've been told. Uh, height, five foot six, 175 pounds. Finisher, the old West Coast Pop. Career highlights, WWE Champion, World Champion, and Intercontinental Champion. At SummerSlam 2005, Rey Mysterio saved his son Dominic from the dastardly Eddie Guerrero in a legendary ladder match. And he sure did. We talked a little bit about that. Pull that bad boy out. Got the WWE logo there. Off to the races. See you later. Goodbye. Then we get Ray. We get extra hands. We get a floating head and we get a briefcase. Everybody loves a Money in the Bank briefcase. We got the contract. Who's going to take home Dominic at the end of the night? I don't know. That's why they had the briefcase for the ladder match. Always fun. Always an adventure. There it is. Pop that briefcase out, maybe. There it is. Little Ray out and then Dominic. And see you later. Goodbye. There it goes. <laughs> we'll get into this at the end of the week. We'll, or at the end of the reviews here. Dominic looking a little sad. Looking down and depressed. Not sure who to call dad. Not sure where to go. Uh, we'll get down to him. But we get the Dominic head sculpt right there, which is pretty cool. And then we get down to Mr. 619 himself. Straighten him out a little bit. Should talk about the hands. Of course, Ray, coming. he's coming to throw down for the custody of his son. He loves his son, so he's going to throw fists. And uh, he's got two fists on him, and then you got two gripping hands for grabbing the ladder and then climbing the ladder and grabbing the briefcase. So you got to have that. So we got two fists for old Ray Mysterio. Two black glove fists as well. And then you get this uh, suitcase, briefcase, whatever we're going to call it. I guess briefcase. I thought it opened should we've seen these before we've seen these before there it is you just gotta be smarter than the uh, briefcase but it does open if you want to make your own contract and really relive this but it's a black case we've seen this painted in different colors we've seen this painted with the money in the bank logo uh get the most out of your molds as we always talk about here on the channel all black is what it is we've seen it before 
Now we get down to Rey Mysterio, we get down to the old brass tacks, and it feels weird to see this version of Rey Mysterio again. It's been a long time as, uh, what, the last five Rey Mysterio figures have all been modern takes on Rey for the most part with the Mohawk mask, which I actually like. I know some of you guys said you don't like that one. I like the Mohawk mask. This is old school Ray mask, and unfortunately, they used old school Ray head. And I'm not a huge fan of this head. I feel it looks a little bit too peanut headish, and I hate the big smile under the mask. It just there's something about it that looks very strange. Uh, I, I don't know. There's something about it, but it does look good. The paint apps are good. The blue and white really does pop throughout the whole mask. Uh, looks really really good. I love his shirt that he's got going on here, but you can even see the tattoo just peeking out a little bit. That's nice attention to detail by Mattel. Uh, some companies like Jack's back in the day, they probably would have left that out. I think we could all agree. So that is nice attention to detail. Uh, very cool. The head pops off. Ooh, geez, I felt like I broke it when it popped off, but it does pop off. Could you put Dominic's head on here? You probably could, huh? <laughs> Dominic Mysterio, there he is, ready to go. Father and son combined into one, like a Transformer or like a Power Ranger. Pull that off. Doesn't look so hot on there, but Ray, this little peanut head, I'm not a huge, huge fan of this, unfortunately, uh, but it is what it is. It, it makes sense at the time. You can't really give him the Mohawk mask now. A little loose in the torso. I don't like that. Uh, that's not very fun. We hate that. Haven't had that a lot lately. There was a span where we were getting that for a long time. During the height of COVID, we were getting a lot of paint application issues. Most of the time, that seems to have subsided, but this Ray, unfortunately, got that really wiggly torso. Not a fan of that at all. Uh, do we have the double-jointed elbows? Do we have the pinless joints on this? Has the technology caught up to Ray Mysterio? And I can't even get this going, but it does look to be pinless, so that is good. They updated the arms at least. Of course, you got the tattoos. You got the wrist tape here. Sometimes we see it painted on. Sometimes it's a separate piece. It is a separate piece here. Tattoos look good. They match up with what Ray's got going on. He does got the 619 logo on his chest. Got him on the side of the pants. Got the kind of King Mysterio on the other side. The big baggy Ray Mysterio pants that were all the rage in 2005, of course. Smaller figure, as Ray should be. Uh, you do get the double-jointed knees going on. You get the thigh swivel. You get the waist, all that fun stuff. You do get ankle articulation, but it is limited a little bit with these big uh, baggy pants he's got going on there. But that was the look back then, so you can't fault him for that. All in all, a good Rey Mysterio, a moment in time Rey Mysterio. Not my favorite Rey Mysterio just because I'm not a huge fan of the head they used for a lot of these Rey Mysterios. But it is cool to get a flashback Rey. I don't know about you guys, I'm a little burned out on modern Rey. And I think uh, flashback Rays will sell just as well as modern Rays. So I hope future top picks we get maybe some more throwbacks. Some throwbacks to maybe some prior Jax figures just like this one. As I did in the Randy Orton review, you can also compare some of these Jack's Ruthless Aggression figures. Is That's the time. We can finally compare these things. And we're going to do a lot of this on the channel going forward as we're getting a lot of Ruthless Aggression era figures. And, uh, of course, I have the Ruthless Aggression Jack's versions. i got to dig them out from my shelf. Uh, but very, very good. And I've always liked this version as well. And i got to be honest, I'm, I'm probably in the minority here. And you like what you like. And guess what? You don't what you don't. But I like this Ruthless Aggression one more than the Mattel one. And it comes down to the head sculpt. I always like this head on Ray. I just like how this feels in hand compared to this. Obviously, this has a flippy floppy torso. But I always like the feel of this Ray Mysterio. Yes, he's small, all that kind of stuff. I get it. This is smaller. This doesn't quite scale as good as maybe this one does. But there's something about this one I've always liked. This this mold for Rey Mysterio. I've liked this one from the time it was first used. Where this one, it just hasn't grown on me over time. But I'm still happy to get this. Any Rey Mysterio, you guys know I love face paint. I love masks. I love hairy bipedal creatures. I like big figures. You guys know what I like. So he's in my wheelhouse. But I just prefer the Jax one by a hair. And guess what? That's okay. So there it is. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? What are your thoughts on this Rey Mysterio? Is this immediate pickup for you? Are you burned out on Rey? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. Follow along on Patreon where you can get this video and many other videos much, much earlier. Bonus content, exclusives, giveaways as well. And best of all, you support the channel. And then you can hit me up on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for Ray Mysterio and the custody of Dominic, I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.